My last video was a very vague introduction to emotional intelligence and how it affects leaders, their teams and the organizations as a whole. I got a couple of queries about emotional intelligence, EQ and that's why I am coming up with this video. Until a decade ago, people with high IQ intelligence quotients were considered successful. IQ relates to one's ability to solve problems. Scientists usually have high IQs which enable them to understand the problems. They can plan different solutions, make deductions, learn from the observations made, replan and finally reach a solution for the problem in hand. It rarely requires an interaction with any other human being. Maybe an informal term that can be used could be nerds. When I attended my first interview, the only questions the interviewers asked were how I could solve problems. Problems related to electronic circuits. And my first few years of job was mostly solving problems. I rarely had to get involved in anything else. On the other hand, EQ, emotional quotient, relates to your ability to be sensitive to emotions. The emotions inside you, the emotions in others. A person with high EQ rarely reacts to impulses. He responds after analyzing the situation and the emotions in play in the people involved. Each situation is unique in that you have a lot more variables. A team member who is not able to complete his work consistently is a problem and this problem usually does not have a standard solution. This problem is not as simple as fixing a software bug or fixing a circuit with a burnt capacitor. So which one is more important, IQ or EQ? IQ is very important and it can be considered as a pass to your technical career. Without a good IQ, you might not land up in a technical job. EQ on the other hand is important when your career involves working with a lot more people. Now a little more into EQ. There are four components to EQ. They are self-awareness, self-regulation, social awareness and relationship management. I know this is getting dry and boring. So let's try to understand them with the help of examples. The first one, self-awareness is the awareness about yourself, your skills, your strengths, belief, fears and so on. If I know I am weak in planning things ahead, then I can make up for this by putting more time for planning. If I am aware that I am good at drawing and if I know that drawing and painting would give me joy, it's a very good idea to make this my hobby. Many of my friends complain about a hollow life, work, a set of boring chores and that's it. They have not done anything interesting in a while. They have great ambitions, pastime hobbies, dreams. Now when I encourage them to talk about their interests, they could not stop. Soon they realize that they had a lot of positive things that they could do to make their lives much better. So self-awareness is the starting point for a better life. One way to improve your self-awareness would be to do self-reflection. Think what went well, what did not. What did you feel when different things happened that day or that week? Now the second one is self-regulation. Self-regulation is about regulating your responses. 
I used to have a senior member in my team who used to shout at people. All of us were really scared of him. Whenever he used to ask me to do something, I would agree and try to escape interacting with him as much as possible. This was an impulse reaction. I could have taken a pause and thought whether this task is as important as that I had in my plate already. This could have reduced the stress I had juggling between the different tasks I had to manage. As a leader, you are a role model to the others around you. They are watching you and a self-regulated leader attracts others towards you. You could use the stop technique to improve your self-regulation. I will talk about the stop technique in a different video. Coming to the third element, social awareness. Social awareness is about trying to understand the social context. It is about trying to understand the situation from the other person's perspective. As a leader, this is a very important skill that you need. Last day, there was an online discussion that I was a part of and one person asked how we could handle the irritating team members from the other team. There were great leaders in that discussion and all of them responded the same way. Understand where the other team members are coming from. Maybe they have something to offer you. Maybe there is a different perspective that you have not looked at. Look beyond the irritations. Most of the times, a few minutes of listening and showing compassion is what it would take to resolve a big issue. The fourth element of EQ is relationship management. This is about adding and maintaining relationship with others. All of us have prejudices. He always comes late. He is a lazy person. He is always right. These are beliefs which force us to behave in a certain way with others. With proper relationship management, the other person feels valued and they would look forward to interacting with you more. It's not sugarcoating your words, but being honest and having a clear reason for your decisions. It's not just your prejudice or your emotions. Even if you are giving a negative feedback, you can sound it in a way which motivates the other person to do better. Make him confident about the trust you have in him. It's equally important to listen to others' feedback also. I hope I have been able to give a very rough idea about EQ in this video. Just like any other skill, just listening to a few videos or reading some books will not make you a master in it. You need constant practice, repetitions. It's very difficult to judge your own behaviors. That's where you need a trusted partner to help you with this. A professional coach will help you evaluate your current situation, help plan a path forward and help you stay on course towards your goals. Don't make the mistake of assuming you know everything and you have control on everything. Experts in all the fields have professional coaches to guide them to even more success. What makes the expert in you different? I'm an internationally certified professional coach. I offer four customized programs that can help you achieve your goals. Connect with me by clicking on the Calendly link below to know more. Looking forward to talking to you very soon.